modern Lux FSR3 fluid motion frames on older NVIDIA Force RTX 2030 series cards. NVIDIA's latest RTX 40 series graphics cards feature impressive new technologies like DLSS 3 that can significantly enhance performance and image quality in games. However, owners of older 20 and 30 series NVIDIA Force RTX cards cannot officially benefit from these cutting-edge advances. DLSS 3's frame generation feature, in particular, requires dedicated hardware only found in NVIDIA's brand new Ada Lovelace architecture. But the ingenious modding community has stepped in with a creative workaround solution where NVIDIA has refused to enable frame generation functionality on older generation hardware. A new third-party modification can unofficially activate both upscaling, FSR, GLA, DLSS or ZSS and AMD fluid motion frames on older NVIDIA cards equipped with Tensor cores. Replacing two key DLL files and a small edit to the Windows registry enables the DLSS 3 inches option to be activated in games running on older hardware. In testing conducted by Digital Foundry, this modification delivered up to a 75% FPS boost on par with the performance uplift official DLSS 3 provides on RTX 40 series cards. Games like Cyberpunk 2077, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and A Plague Tale, Requiem were used to benchmark performance. However, there can be minor visual flaws, including incorrect UI interpolation or random frame time fluctuations. Ironically, while the FSR 3 tech itself originates from AMD, the mod currently only works on NVIDIA cards. So, while not officially supported, the resourcefulness of the modding community has remarkably managed to bring cutting-edge frame generation to more NVIDIA owners, until AMD RDNA 3 cards can utilize it as well. This shows the incredible potential of community-driven software modification and innovation.